I'm watching um, NBC Nightly <clears throat> News, and this is the 15th. I guess you can't see that. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to get that. I want to put this up again because I've put this up on uh, Facebook about my kidnapping and my... Uh, my kidnapping in 41 and being brought to Moulton, Alabama, and who I am and who my father is. <clears throat> Before I found out, I was doing a medical malpractice book about I'd work for doctors, and I worked for the district attorney. I worked for some lawyers. And I think people should listen, even, even if this wasn't the problem here, which I, I think it is, uh, that happened at, in Hawaii. I'm going to uh, tell you, until it's addressed, I know that the shooting in Las Vegas, um, Paddocks, he was programmed. They did an autopsy on his brain. You do not you do the autopsy because it's being done with mind control. They have a chip that they can put in the person or persons, mass armies, and uh, program the program uh, the person or persons to do whatever the programmers tell them to do. And uh, Larry Flynn, I usually put up the magazine where he helped me in a campaign after I did the book in Atlanta and got a letter from the FBI, National Security Involved Ongoing Investigation. And so much has been done to me, and it's remained ongoing, the suffering and crimes committed against me and my children. Nothing's been done. I've been telling about this, and this includes the Virginia Tech shooting here, the 33 that were killed. The shooter was from South Korea, and he shot the other two and killed them. Then he turned the gun on himself, as a lot of these do that are programmed, and uh, shot himself. Uh, he's a victim himself, and this what you need to get through your heads. Uh, James Holmes was one of the victims of mind control that shot the people at the Grand Theater in Aurora, Colorado, and I'm not going to go on. He was put in a mental hospital, and he was given psychotic drugs. You do not give that to a program person. You stop the programming, the mind control. That is the most ludicrous thing. Where have your doctors, psychiatrists, and doctors been in all this? They have not spoken out, not told the truth, and yes, they do know. But the ones that I've spoken about over the years were done in patterns, and they can be proven. What I'm going to mention here is I wrote about Larry McDonald again, the congressman doctor from Atlanta, who went down supposedly he went down in the um, KAL, uh, that was a Korean airliner from, uh, uh, it was en route from Juneau, Alaska to Seoul, South Korea, August the 31st of 83. Supposedly, Larry McDonald, congressman, doctor, uh, was on that plane. I sometimes wonder if they took the plane down, the whole plane, 260-plus, into the ocean just to make it appear because I did hear that right after it happened. Uh, so the what I'm getting to here is he was in the book, in the cases that I spoke of on mind control being used, the list of programming people. You... This is the Tesla files where uh, they were stolen in 1930, where you can create an illness or cure it. So cancer could be cured now. Someone asked me, well, where would we go uh, to get them uh, to get it done? The other thing that's been said to me is a nurse came up to where I was having to live on the Appalachian Trail. I was shut down, and uh, I was up there, and she came up, and she said, well, if we started investigating this, we wouldn't have a job because you wouldn't need all the MRI, uh, all of the equipment that's in a hospital if you care to look around. Uh, it's enormous. I work for the hospital, Urban Medical, back in '73. I believe it was, and um, I, I did payables in check, the payroll, and I inventory. I began um, 
seeing and taking note of what's included in just a hospital. It be where I worked there later became uh, name changed to well, was urban medical, but it was cancer research. They have always been able to create an illness or cure it. Uh, so I'm going to leave it there. I'm going back to the plane that carried Larry McDonald. I had written about him in the book, and Larry Flint said in the endorsement that I've put up on most of my YouTube and Facebook, uh, he said in it, it was a uh, April issue of 84, and he'd helped me in that campaign to replace Congressman Dr. Larry McDonald that supposedly went down in the KAL. And uh, uh, Nixon, President Nixon, former, was on that flight and taken off in Juneau, so they knew it was going down. Now, that pilot was a seasoned pilot, and he had been flying, had a good record. Suddenly, he goes off course and flies into Russian airspace where a Russian MiG shot it down. This is what you can do with mind control. A lot of the planes and a lot of the uh, people with uh, that got on the planes that began this what looks like security to help you uh, has been plotted and planned, and mind control has been used on these people. And it's used in mass to program people to do anything they want to, the programmers. So now I'm going to go to this. I have to wonder, and I'm just going to pose this as a question, but I truly believe it, that what's just happened in Hawaii, uh, the person that pushed the wrong button um, was under mind control. He was told to uh, push the button, and what's to keep the next one from being real? He pushes a button, and in the response to it is um, a nuclear war. And there's nothing they can do to stop that that I know of. You have to tell it about mind control being used as a weapon in, the, in this manner or uh, suffer the consequences. So far, my telling it has caused me nothing but pain and telling about my kidnapping uh, that I found out in late 83 has been nothing but suffering and pain, but I'm going through it anyway. Things aren't going to change unless this is told or less, unless I get to tell about my birthright and people start going to jail for their crimes. But that's what they're playing around with is mind control. And uh, I totally believe that this was what was used in Hawaii just a few days ago. That man uh, was given... Um, uh, a command to, uh, it was mind control, to push the wrong button. And uh, the response could have been that, um, well, y you can think for yourself, uh, nuclear war.